Hey, we welcome to another episode of Exceeding Shadows Video Game Collection. We are doing, finally, my favorite system. Maybe not of all time, but one of my favorite systems. The Nintendo 64. <sighs> finally made it to 64. So here is Cartoon Network Scooby-Doo Classic Jeepers Creepers. It's probably not exactly what it's called, but that's what I call it. Uh, it's actually a pretty hard game if you're not all that into it. Sorry if you hear a noise in the background. Uh, I don't know what's going on. So, just ignore it. If you do, if you can't hear it, then... Okay, it doesn't matter. So, I had to cheat code to this, so it didn't really matter if I can beat the game or not. <clears throat> so, but I did. Uh, Gek64 entered the Gecko, which you can get also on the PlayStation 1. He was pretty famous for PlayStation 1. Not all that much for the 64, but I got him on the 64 anyway. Uh, sorry if I said that so fast. I got him on 64 anyway. There you go. So here is WWF WrestleMania 2000. It's exactly what it is. They wrestled in the year 2000 of WrestleMania. You get all the characters and everything. Same old things. Just to let you know. Here is Hot Wheels Turbo Racing, which is exactly what it is. You race in turbo light speed. I'm just saying how it is. Not all that spectacular to say stuff, so. Just like Need for Speed and stuff. Oh, oh, okay. Army Man Air Combat is just like Army Man Air Attack from my PlayStation 1 collection. Uh, so, oh yeah, if you guys see games, some of them that have prices such as that, that's exactly how much I got them for, or a couple dollars less. This game is exactly what you do, just like I said on PlayStation 1 collection. You fight the tan and try to defeat them and stuff like that. Sorry if I'm kind of rushing it. I'm getting a little tired now. Uh, I was doing some other things before I did this. Here is Batman Beyond Return of the Joker, which they did on the movie. It was I don't think it was an official movie. It's like a DVD movie. But it's not all that fun to game. If you watched the movie, Bravo for you was a good movie to me. If you didn't, it's, it's okay. It probably wasn't before your time or probably you didn't like it. It's my, it's your decision, so, yeah. Or if you want to know something about Batman Beyond, just look it up on YouTube. Okay, so here's another Army Man game. Army Man Sarge's Heroes. This time you play as the Army Man, not just like in vehicles and stuff, but actually as them. Sorry if I'm kind of shaky, I'm a little tired. Uh, oh, yeah, if you don't know, the company right there, 3DO, was actually a video game console. You guys can look it up on YouTube, Twitter, Google, I don't know why I said Twitter, but whatever you want to check it up on. It's been, a, it was a system before, so. Yeah. Okay, so here's Disney's Pixar Toy Story 2. What is likely to the rescue? Which is uh, from the movie number two, which came out in like, uh, don't remember exactly what year, but I was going to say like 1999 or something. <clears throat> Sorry, if I'm still kind of tired. Uh, just going to be like my Sega Genesis collection. Uh, okay. So, you just play as Buzz Lightyear, you're protecting everybody in Andy's house, and that's about it. And, you know, you defeat Zerg and all that stuff, so. Okay, so we got to Mickey Speedway USA, which is we race with Mickey and friends to see who's the best. Same old, same old. It's a good, it's one of these games that's kind of rare to find. And good, guess what it is? It's by Rare, one of those awesome companies that 64 was made by. Which I don't know where it is now, Rare, but hopefully it's still being good. Things on the 360 now, but it's okay with me. <clears throat> okay, here's Mario Tennis. Uh, one of the very first Mario games that was actually a sports on the 64. I don't have all of them, just to let you know. Some were boring to me. Mario Tennis is exactly what you do. You play tennis and see who's the best, same thing, so. Not much is going there. But it was Mario style, so. Okay, for this one, I'm going to go double. For, for Banjo and Tooie and Banjo and Kazooie. Banjo and Kazooie was first. You defeat uh, the witch, I don't remember her name, and Banjo and Tooie. It's kind of like a side story from the original one. But you're helping out with Tui now. Not just Kazooie, but Tui. So, oh, and just to let you know, they're both by Rare. Which, 
switched to 360, which made me mad. I wanted to see them on Super Smash Brothers series or something. But you don't know. Sonic and Solid Snake got on there. And they're not even Nintendo. Okay, so Donkey Kong 64 was another company made by Rare, which Rare and 64 was like the baddest company combined ever. PlayStation 1 couldn't even beat them down. But Sega was still on top for me. So Donkey Kong 64 was one of those games that didn't have an expansion pack. Sorry if I'm not speaking as well. An expansion pack was something you had to play like a memory card, but you have to have it to play a game. Or a certain game, so. It kind of sucked. Uh, but it was a good game. No, no, nonetheless, so. Yoshi's Story. Um, it's actually his side of the story of lots of games, but it's his own game, just like Luigi's Mansion and stuff like that. Um, I have the book to this. I will actually do a guidebook collection when I'm done with all my video game collections, so. But it'll be under the same playlist, so don't worry about it. Here's Pokemon Snap. You take pictures of Pokemon and see which one's the best for Professor Oak to take on his album, and you're that one kid from... TV show, anime series, Todd, I think, and, yeah, okay, sorry, oh, and it was like the original 151, okay, so, F-Zero X, which is a racing game from, from Captain Falcon's in it with Samurai Gordo, or I don't know how to pronounce that name, which is, you're racing with extremeness or something, I don't know. So, it was not out of that fun of game, but it was okay. They made too many racing games for me. Okay, so, ooh, okay. Here's a game I actually did on an LP. Not officially. Oh, I'm sorry if I skipped a whole row, but I'm so tired, I didn't even notice. Ugh, sorry, I have to sit down now. I'm so tired. Whew. Yep, I think it's going to be a flashback like from my Genesis collection. Okay, so, Paper Mario is... Just like a remake of um, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. If you don't know what it is, look it up on YouTube. Same as this. It's a fun game. Trigger Conroy done it. My friend is doing it. Um, so many people's done it. It's like the game to play an LP on. Not, no matter what, you have to play it. Okay, so back to the other side. Sorry if I skipped all these. It's like my buddy. I'm not going to say his name. Someone at school told me, oh yeah, I skipped before on Sega Genesis, but at least I went back to him, so. Here's Mario Party, which Chica Conroy, Proto John, Nintendo Capri on and Nintendo on the Runner Bray guys has played, which is Mario Party, which you do mini games within a board game. Pretty creative, so it was pretty creative to make seven more games of it. Two more for sixty four. All of them basically for the Nintendo GameCube, and then one left for the Wii. And then, like, two more on Game Boy Advance and DS. Okay, so here's... Sorry if you, sorry if it's ripped off halfway, but I got it how it is. Conker's Bad for a Day is... It's a funny game, but I would not recommend it to children. I recommend it to probably ages 16 and above. It was a, it's a drinking alcohol game that has a squirrel in it. If you guys want to look it up on YouTube, it's okay because it's just YouTube. Uh, but whatever. It, so it was a, it's a funny game made by Rare. Sorry if it's not there. Hey, that rhymed. But yeah, I got it for twenty. It's actually exactly what I was paying for. So okay, one of the most awesomest games which everybody would love on sixty four. The Legend of Zelda Orcarina of Time, which was a best-selling Nintendo game, which hit a million seller. Player's Choice. Sorry if you didn't see it. In this game, Zelda travels through time to the future and then goes back to the past for all sorts of stuff with his Orcarina, which is a flute. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and he beats his mortal enemy, Ganondorf which you've seen in all the other Zelda games. Okay, so... Oh, here's Donkey... Uh, not Donkey Kong. Diddy Kong Racing, which is 
you race with Diddy Kong and friends from other 64 games or Nintendo games, which is not really as big. But, like, Banjo, he's in it, just to let you know. So that makes it more fun. And some other ones, like, oh, a Crocker, Cronker. It was like, oh, okay, this game was a collab of racing with all rare related video games. But, yeah, basically that's it. I, that's the best I can go for, so. It's a good game. You guys should get it, just like Mario Kart, if you like Mario Kart. <laughs> Hey, you Pikachu is the first game I had known that you actually could speak into the game. Pikachu would do exactly what you day say. Uh, I'm gonna sound British. No offense to people that's British, but I'm not British, so uh, it's exactly what you do. But not everything, because I found out that you have to have like a kid voice to speak to Pikachu, and I kind of understand you more. Just to let you know, if you didn't know that, sorry, but now you know. Uh, Pikachu will do Thunderbolt, if you say Thunderbolt, run to you or something. Certain things it won't do, certain things it will do. I don't know what things it will do, but there's things. Okay, so here's Mario Party 2, which is the famous Mario Party 2 game which everybody loves. I still have it. I was a, I was obsessed with this game when I got it. I got it like a Swami, which yes, all those price tags means I got from a Swami before. But... I don't know. I also also poor, you know. Like at GameStop, so you sell this for like forty dollars or something. Which we all hate GameStop for that. It's good game. There's a big explanation why he's a cowboy, but I don't want to say. So just go look it up on YouTube. Everything's better on YouTube. All your answers has been answered. Or questions been answered. Sorry. Here's Pokemon Stadium. In this game, it was actually one of the first games that tells you to put your name on it to tell you it's yours, but I never did that, because why would I want to do that? It kind of messes up the cover, so. And yes, this game was $10, because it was like before when Stadium 2 came out, which I do see, which I do have. Sorry, I'm not speaking that well, but you have the original 151, so, Yeah. Okay, here's Star Fox 64, which is a famous game that tells you to do do a barrel roll, which we all know and love. Uh, it's just like one of Star Fox's very first 64 games, which is his only one. Which I'm kind of tired, so uh, I'm just gonna do my best with the last five. So here's Kirby 64 to Crystal Shards. It's Kirby's first 64 game, which I think was the only one. You have to get the crystal shards to make everything back better in some kind of planet. I don't remember. And six and Kirby would transform into all these kind of weird shapes you don't see anymore. But it was awesome. If you guys like it, get it. It's on. I think it's on the Wii Shop channel. Just it's good, <laughs> no doubt. Here is Mario Kart 64. It's also on the Wii Shop channel. It's exactly what you do with all the other Mario Karts, except you have to, you have to tilt more and stuff because it was older. So it's okay though. I beat this game with all gold trophies and everything. Yeah, I'm pro like that. <laughs> no, I haven't played this game for a while, so I'll probably suck again. So okay, here comes the last three, which probably evolutionized 64 for me forever. This game actually came out exactly when the 64 came out. Super Mario 64, which now there's like billions of freaking remakes of this, like Super Mario 64 DS. It's also on the Wii Shop channel. Um, I don't know. I can't actually think of that many. Oh, you can get this as an, as an emulator now. All these games you can get it as an emulator now. And like, if you don't want to emulate this, good for you. But if you don't, go watch some YouTube videos. <laughs> so, good game, good game. Last two, I'm just going to do it at the same time because I'm running out of time. So here's Pokemon Stadium 2 and Super Smash Brothers Brawl, uh, Super Smash Brothers, sorry, I'm just saying the new one. Stadium 2 is more advanced to Stadium 1, and Smash Brothers Brawl is a collab of all the Nintendo famous games, which only has 12 characters in it, but it's a game you should have. I, I, I even have it on my Wii, sh I even bought it on the Wii Shop channel, it's that good of a game. I did it as an LP, it took me 7 days or something to beat. And, yeah. So, please leave me interesting and curious questions in the comment section below or Facebook and Twitter. I'll see you guys on the next episode of Video Games Collection. So, see you today.